Okay. Hello to my Algebra 1 Upward Bound students. This is your instructor, Mrs. Thomas. And this is the Algebra 1 book. Um, I'm not sure. I have so many versions of Algebra 1. This is Glen Cole. I also have Prentice Hall. So since so many of you have so many different books, I decided to start in a section that um, I am usually on when I'm teaching my Algebra 1 students. So um, at the beginning of the year, I would have started in chapters 1 through 4. And after, after uh, December, I would have started in chapter 5 or chapter 6. So I'm hoping you are somewhere in this area. So this section is called Solving Inequalities by Addition and Subtraction. All right. And the key word for today is inequality. The key word is in e quality all right since that's what we be that's what we will be doing today in equality i n e q u a l i t y is the key word okay so let's solve by adding solve X minus 12 is greater than or equal to 8. All right, what should be your first step? We want to make sure that we're looking at the original inequality. And we want to treat it like we will be adding or subtracting an equation. So I want to utilize the inverse property to move negative 12 over to the right side underneath the 8. This is called the inverse 8 plus 12 is 20. I want to bring down the X and I'm going to bring down the greater than or equal to sign. So when we're looking at the solution set, I want you to know that the solution of this problem in words is the set of all numbers greater than or equal to 20. Okay, so that's how you would say it in words. Okay, let's try another one. 22 is greater than M minus 8. How will we work this one out? Okay, I definitely will move the negative 8, use the inverse, and move it over here underneath the 22. So the inverse of negative 8 is positive 8. This yields 22 plus 8 is 30. Bring down the greater than sign, but notice where the M is located. Notice where the variable is located. So if you were reading this, you, were, you would read it from your variable. So this would be M. Now look where the alligator mouth is pointing. All right. We're going to make sure it points the same direction. So M is less than 30. All right, so that solution is all numbers less than 30. Okay, I think y'all could have got that. Okay, let's try another one. Put it here. D minus 14 is greater than or equal to negative 19. And these are just some practice problems. I don't know if you're in chapter five in your textbook. I hope you are somewhere near. And if you're in chapter four, this is even better because you have an opportunity to see it and to understand it before class. So getting an understanding is always a good thing. Let's do the inverse. The inverse of a negative 14 is a positive 14. Okay, we want to move that to the right side. Now, this is my integer. Negative 19 plus 14. So same sign I would have added, but different signs I want to subtract. So 19 take 14 away is 5. And we're going to bring down the negative because 19, the absolute value of 19 will be larger than 14. Bring down my variable D and D greater than or equal to sign. So this answer will be the solution is all numbers greater than or equal to negative five, okay? So students, remember the key word is inequality. I know that you have so many other courses and I hope you're doing wonderful in your classes in high school. 
And this ends my lesson for today. And I hope this helps you students. Have a great and wonderful night.